Scientists are worried by what is going on in the Sahara Desert, and so should we. The Sahara Desert is a realm of mystique, beauty, and unfathomable vastness. Its shimmering sands hold secrets as ancient as time itself. Yet within its shifting dunes lies a story of profound concern for scientists around the globe. Scientists are worried about what is going on in the Sahara Desert, and we should be too. They are peering deeper into the heart of this enigmatic landscape, and what they're finding is nothing short of alarming. But should we really be bothered? Does the fate of a distant desert have anything to do with our lives? Join us as we unravel 20 of the most shocking discoveries ever made in the Sahara Desert. Number 20. Lost Civilization Recent findings by scientists unveil a fascinating story of an ancient civilization lost amidst the sands of Libya. Through the lenses of satellites orbiting above, researchers have unveiled a treasure trove of over 100 fortified farms, villages, and towns tucked away in the Sahara's embrace. Dating back to 1 to 500 AD, these ancient settlements weren't just makeshift camps, but thriving hubs of life. They were the handiwork of a civilization largely forgotten by history, the Garamanti. Contrary to earlier beliefs that painted them as mere nomads or troublemakers, these discoveries reveal a society far more advanced than imagined. These ancient cities were adorned with castle-like structures, their mud-brick walls still standing tall, reaching heights of up to 13 feet. But these settlements weren't just fortresses. They were marvels of urban planning, boasting sophisticated irrigation systems that sustained fields and gardens. Evidence of their ingenuity stretches across the landscape. Traces of dwellings, cemeteries, wells, and intricate field systems, all speaking volumes about the Garamante's way of life. This revelation challenges our understanding of history, reminding us that the story of humanity is far richer and more complex than we often perceive. It's proof of the resilience and creativity of ancient civilizations, whose legacy continues to shape our world today. Number 19. Green Sahara Long ago, the scorching desert now known as the Sahara was a vibrant land teeming with life. It's a landscape where lush greenery, flowing rivers, and abundant forests once thrived. There were even massive lakes stretching across the horizon. For centuries, the Sahara experienced a cycle of change, alternating between wet and dry periods. These shifts were driven by subtle variations in the Earth's tilt on its orbital axis. This tilt influenced how much sunlight reached the atmosphere, impacting rainfall patterns. During the West African monsoon season, the sun showered the region with energy, leading to humid periods and bountiful rains. As a result, the Sahara transformed into a verdant paradise. However, around 8,000 to 4,500 years ago, something peculiar occurred. The transition from wet to dry became more frequent and severe in certain areas, surpassing what could be solely attributed to orbital changes. These repeated transformations gradually shaped the Sahara into the vast desert we recognize today. Researchers propose that human activity played a significant role in accelerating this transformation. As ancient nomadic tribes roamed the grasslands with their livestock, they inadvertently contributed to the decline of vegetation through overgrazing. This diminished plant life's ability to release moisture into the atmosphere, affecting cloud formation and rainfall. Number 18. The Squatter's Paradise if it happens to be from California, especially near the Sonoran Desert, might know about Slab City. Despite its name, it's not a city in the traditional sense. Instead, it's more like a stretch of desert, covering about a square mile, where people live with a lot of freedom and without strict rules. It's an interesting place because it's built on the remains of an old military base from World War II. When the base was shut down in 1956, all that was left were these concrete slabs, hence the name Slab City. Over time, people started settling on these slabs, 
forming a unique community. Because there's no strong government presence, people have to fend for themselves. There's no electricity grid, no running water, no sewage system, and no garbage pickup. So, those who decide to make Slab City their home have to rely on solar power and their methods for water and waste management. One might wonder who would choose to live in such a place, but surprisingly, there are quite a few people who do. The population of Slab City can reach several thousand, including retirees looking for cheap housing, individuals seeking solitude, and those who want to escape from the pressures of modern society. However, during the scorching summer months, many people leave because the desert temperatures can soar up to a blistering 100 Fahrenheit, making it unbearable for some. Number 17. World's Most Remote Post Office In the vast expanse of the Tangier Desert lies a hidden gem, the most isolated post office on Earth. Imagine a tiny building, barely 15 square meters in size, standing solitary amidst the sands, untouched for more than three decades. Then Miss Zhang and her companion, Lu Ming, stumbled upon this forgotten outpost and sparked a remarkable idea. Their plan was ingenious yet simple. Revive this forgotten post office, not just as a place of service, but as a conduit for dreams. They envisioned a ghostwriting venture, where individuals could send letters and postcards from this remote spot without ever setting foot there themselves. In December 2021 alone, over 20,000 letters and postcards embarked on their journey from this obscure location. Each piece bore a special stamp, reflecting the essence of the desert, and was handwritten right there in the post office before embarking on a 10-kilometer trek to reach civilization. Bringing this post office back to life was no small feat. It involved hauling building materials across the unforgiving desert and erecting the structure from scratch, a task that spanned 20 days of toil under the scorching sun. Yet their efforts paid off and the post office was reborn, earning recognition as one of China's 700-plus official outposts. Number 16. Ancient Mega Lake Researchers have made an exciting discovery about the enormous Sahara Desert, revealing a hidden treasure beneath its sandy surface. Deep within the vast expanse of dunes lies the remnants of an ancient mega lake, a finding that challenges our understanding of this iconic landscape. Thousands of years ago, the Sahara was not the arid desert we know today. Instead, it was home to a massive body of water, comparable in size to some of the largest lakes we see today. This revelation sheds light on a different Sahara, one teeming with life and vibrant ecosystems. Through the use of advanced technology like satellite imagery and geological surveys, scientists have pieced together clues from the past. They've uncovered traces of old river channels and lake beds buried beneath the desert sands, providing a glimpse into a bygone era. But what makes this discovery truly fascinating is what it tells us about the Earth's climate history. It suggests a time when the Sahara experienced a much wetter climate, supporting a rich diversity of plants and animals. This climate change, influenced by factors like the planet's orbit and temperature variations, has played a pivotal role in shaping landscapes over millennia. So, the Sahara we see today as a vast, dry expanse was once a lush paradise, transformed over time by the forces of nature. Number 15. The Tomb of Tin Han The Tomb of Tin Han stands majestically amidst the rugged Agar Mountains of Algeria, casting a veil of mystique over the land. This revered site is said to cradle the remains of Tin Han, a legendary queen among the Tour people. Wrapped in folklore and reverence, the tomb whispers tales of a bygone era, shrouding Tin Han's life and legacy in enigmatic hues. According to the ancient tales passed down through generations, Tin Han was no ordinary ruler. She emerged from the mists of time, leading her entourage across the sands, perhaps hailing from the ancient Berber tribes. She is hailed as the progenitor of the Tuar people, credited with shaping lineages and molding the social and cultural fabric of the region.
Discovered in the 1920s by the intrepid French archaeologist Byron Kund, the tomb stands as a testament to Tuareg's heritage. Carved from sturdy stone, its circular form echoes the cyclical nature of time. Though artifacts like jewelry and pottery were unearthed within its confines, they offer only tantalizing glimpses into Tin Han's world. Legends swirl around Tin Han like desert sands in a storm, each whispering a different truth. Some Tuareg clans speak of her with reverence, while others weave tales of mystery and intrigue. Yet, amidst the shifting sands of time, one thing remains constant, Tin Han's significance as a cornerstone of Tuareg history, embodying the ancestral lineage and matriarchal traditions of this nomadic desert culture. Number 14. King Tutankhamun's Dagger The dagger discovered in the tomb of King Tutankhamun isn't just any old relic. It's like a fascinating bridge connecting ancient times to our modern understanding. Archaeologists have been captivated by its story for years, and recent research has uncovered something truly celestial about its origins. This dagger isn't made from your ordinary bronze or iron of the time. It's crafted from material that came from outer space, from a meteorite. Using fancy scientific techniques like X-ray fluorescence, spectrometry, experts found out that this dagger has a high amount of nickel and traces of cobalt. When looking at the dagger itself, with its golden decorations and crystal handle, they can tell it was made with incredible skill and care marking it as something really important. There's this unique pattern on the blade, called the Widmanstetten pattern, that only forms in meteorite iron over millions of years in space. This dagger isn't just a fancy tool. It's a piece of history, with a story that stretches far beyond Earth. There's speculation that it might have been a diplomatic gift from another kingdom, the Mitanni, mentioned in ancient letters exchanged with Egyptian pharaohs. The mystery surrounding King Tut's dagger keeps us all hooked, blending craftsmanship from Earth with a legacy that's out of this world. Number 13. The Creeping Devil Imagine stumbling upon an astonishing discovery in the vast desert landscape, the Creeping Devil. Despite its name, it's not a creature out of a nightmare, but rather a fascinating cactus that defies the norm. Unlike its upright relatives, this peculiar plant sprawls across the sandy terrain, almost like a living carpet. But what makes the creeping devil truly captivating is its survival strategy. Instead of staying rooted in one spot, it slowly inches its way across the desert floor, seeking better conditions for growth. As it grows at one end, the other end gradually withers away. This constant cycle of growth and decay propels it forward, leaving a trail of enriched soil in its wake, nurturing new life. This remarkable cactus has mastered the art of self-sustainability. In the barren desert where pollinators are scarce, it reproduces by cloning itself. Pieces of the cactus break off, take root, and sprout into new plants, ensuring its species' survival against the odds. However, despite its ingenious adaptations, the creeping devil faces threats from human activities like illegal trafficking and farming. This struggle for survival underscores the fragile balance of desert ecosystems and the urgent need to safeguard such extraordinary life forms. In essence, the creeping devil is proof of nature's resilience and the intricate web of life in one of the harshest environments on Earth. Number 12. Sahara Desert is growing bigger. The Sahara, the vast hot desert, is growing larger, and scientists believe that climate change is partly to blame for this expansion. They have delved into the reasons behind why this immense desert is increasing in size. Currently, the Sahara is roughly 10% bigger than it was almost 100 years ago. This growth has sparked concern, prompting a new study. Researchers meticulously analyzed rainfall data collected across Africa, examining records dating back to 1920. They observed how shifting environmental conditions impacted areas surrounding the edges of the Sahara. 
Through their investigation, they unearthed that natural climate cycles alone are not solely responsible for this desert's enlargement. Human-induced climate change also plays a significant role. While scrutinizing the seasonal patterns of temperature and rainfall across Africa from 1920 to 2013, researchers noticed a noteworthy trend. They became fixated on the declining precipitation in the Sahel, a semi-arid region connecting the Sahara to the Sudanese savannas. This observation raised questions about the relationship between rainfall patterns and the Sahara's expansion over time. Traditionally, as the conditions of other deserts oscillate between wetter and drier periods, they undergo size fluctuations. However, in the case of the Sahara, there has been a notable and concerning trend of expansion. Through their ongoing research, scientists aim to unravel the intricate connections between rainfall trends and the Sahara's relentless growth. Number 11. Meteorite Older Than The Earth Three years ago, a space rock crashed into the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert, stirring curiosity among scientists worldwide. Yet, it remained shrouded in mystery, hidden in the sands near Bentaku in southern Algeria, nestled within the expansive ERG Chechsand Sea. Named ERG Chech 002 after its discovery site, this meteorite has captivated researchers' attention ever since. After years of meticulous examination, scientists uncovered astonishing details about EC002. They determined that this celestial wanderer is incredibly ancient, dating back a staggering 4.6 billion years, preceding the birth of our solar system. Intriguingly, it evaded the fate of destruction or absorption by larger planets as they gravitated closer to the Sun suggesting it originated from a protoplanet, a celestial body in the process of formation, orbiting a star like our sun. EC002 boasts a distinctive appearance with a coarse texture adorned with mesmerizing green crystals, indicating its formation from magma or molten rock, rendering it igneous. Scientists estimate the magma temperatures that birthed this mysterious rock soared to around 1,220 degrees Celsius, taking roughly 100,000 years to cool and solidify. Despite uncovering remarkable insights into EC002's origins and composition, it continues to baffle researchers. While other celestial bodies from its era have either vanished into cosmic oblivion or matured into planets, EC002 persists defying conventional astronomical expectations. Number 10. The Bizarre Monolith In late 2020, during a routine wildlife mission over the desolate Utah landscape, a helicopter crew stumbled upon an extraordinary sight. Amidst the rugged terrain stood a solitary, metallic monolith, rising about 10 to 12 feet high, its three sides gleaming under the sun. This unexpected discovery sparked intrigue and speculation. The prevailing idea suggests it might be an artistic expression, a deliberate creation by human hands rather than a natural formation. The methodical construction using metal sheets and rivets hinted at a purposeful endeavor. Yet the question lingered. Who erected it and for what purpose? Various theories emerged to unravel the mystery. Some speculated it could be a homage to the late minimalist artist John McCracken, renowned for similar installations. Others entertained more fantastical ideas. Was it a communication from extraterrestrial beings or a clandestine experiment orchestrated by the government? Before concrete answers could be unearthed, the monolith vanished as mysteriously as it appeared. Its sudden disappearance only served to intensify the speculation. Was its removal an effort to protect the desert's pristine environment from the influx of curious visitors it attracted? Or had it fulfilled its intended purpose, whatever that may have been? Despite its disappearance, the Utah monolith endures as a captivating puzzle, inviting speculation and fueling the imagination. It remains a modern-day secret, shrouded in intrigue and mystery. Number 9. The Nazca Lines Hidden within the dry expanses of the Peruvian Ian Desert, 
rests a mystery that has captivated historians for ages, the Nazca Lines. These ancient marvels, crafted over 2,000 years ago by the enigmatic Nazca people, sprawl across an impressive 450 square kilometers of terrain. Amidst this vast canvas, over eight straight lines, 300 geometric shapes, and 70 intricate depictions of animals and plants, such as spiders, monkeys, fish, and lizards, adorn the landscape. Imagine these colossal figures, some stretching up to 370 meters in length, etched into the earth with meticulous precision. The process behind their creation involved the careful removal of reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that blanketed the desert surface. Once cleared, the contrast between the light-colored earth beneath and the surrounding terrain brought these figures to life. Though their purpose remains shrouded in speculation, theories abound. Initially believed to align with celestial bodies for astronomical purposes, this idea has since been challenged. Alternative explanations propose religious or ceremonial significance, suggesting they may have been part of rituals aimed at invoking water, a precious commodity in the arid region. Some speculate they could even be ancient works of art or components of a sophisticated water management system. Intriguing and enigmatic, the Nazca lines continue to fuel curiosity and spark debate, inviting scientists to delve deeper into the ancient mysteries of humanity's past. Number 8. MSO Pyramids Deep in the heart of the Sahara, far from the noisy rush of today's world, lies an incredible discovery, the MSO Pyramids. Rising from the endless sea of desert sand, these ancient marvels offer a captivating glimpse into a civilization lost in the mists of time. Dating back thousands of years, these pyramids are a testament to the creativity and cultural wealth of their builders. Unlike the famous Egyptian pyramids known worldwide, the MSO pyramids, though less famous, hold equal historical importance. Despite their smaller size, their sheer number forms a complex that speaks volumes about a well-organized society with impressive construction skills. Each pyramid within this complex is a poignant reminder of the forgotten Sahara region's past. Painstakingly built with precision and care, they hint at their likely significance to the civilization that created them. While their exact purpose remains a subject of ongoing research and lively debate, it's widely believed that they may have played a role in ceremonial or religious activities, similar to structures found in other ancient civilizations. The discovery of these pyramids in such a remote and harsh environment raises numerous questions, and these questions ignite a sense of curiosity, inviting scientists to delve deeper into a civilization obscured by the passage of time. Number 7. Hidden Sand Cat The sand cat, despite its unassuming appearance resembling a domestic kitten, this small and elusive feline is a powerful predator perfectly suited to the harsh desert environment. Sand cats, with their pale sandy to gray-brown coats, are experts at blending into their desert surroundings. Among the numerous species of wildcats worldwide, sandcats may not be as well known as the larger ones, but they hold their own. Weighing just 3 to 7.5 pounds, they're scarcely larger than an average house cat. However, don't let their size fool you. They are adept survivors in the desert. What distinguishes sandcats isn't just their adorable appearance, but also their remarkable adaptations, which make them one of the most effective predators in the desert. Their large, wide ears grant them exceptional hearing, perfect for detecting prey like rodents, birds, and reptiles beneath the sand. Their fur-covered feet act as natural insulation, protecting them from the blistering desert sands and leaving no footprints, rendering them nearly invisible to both prey and other predators. Remarkably, sand cats can endure extreme temperature fluctuations, from cold nights to scorching hot days, without needing any water. They extract all the moisture they need from their prey, showcasing remarkable self-sufficiency 
in an environment where water is scarce. Number six, heart-shaped lake. Nestled amidst the vast expanse of the Aludra Desert near Dubai, lies a remarkable creation of human ingenuity, the Love Lake. Far from being just another illusion in the desert, this man-made marvel takes the shape of two intertwined hearts, offering a haven of romance and natural splendor. It has become a favored destination for both couples seeking a romantic getaway and families looking for a unique adventure. Surrounded by a breathtaking landscape adorned with 16,000 trees and a variety of flowers, Love Lake beckons visitors to immerse themselves in its beauty. As you wander through the terrain, you'll stumble upon heart-shaped installations adorned with flora at every turn. Whether you choose to take a refreshing swim or leisurely meander through the surroundings, the experience promises to be enchanting. However, reaching Love Lake requires a bit of effort as there are no direct roads leading to it. As the sun sets, Love Lake transforms into a perfect spot for watching the sunset, painting the desert sky with hues of orange and pink. But as darkness descends, a flashlight becomes essential due to the lack of lighting. In essence, Love Lake is not just a destination. It's an experience that combines the majesty of nature with the warmth of human creativity, making it a truly unforgettable oasis in the desert. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. Scientists are worried by what is going on in the Sahara Desert, and so should we. In the heart of the Sahara Desert, where the sun scorches the land mercilessly and the wind whispers ancient secrets, a team of scientists embarked on an expedition that would unravel the mysteries hidden within the shifting sands. Little did they know, their journey would lead them to discoveries that would shake the world to its core. Dr. Sofia Ramirez, a renowned geologist, led the expedition. Her passion for uncovering the Earth's secrets drove her to the most remote corners of the planet. Alongside her were Dr. Malik Ibrahim, an esteemed climatologist, and Dr. Elena Vasquez, an expert in environmental science. Together, they braved the harsh conditions of the Sahara, armed with their knowledge and determination. Their mission is to study the alarming changes occurring in the Sahara Desert. Satellite images had revealed unprecedented shifts in the desert's landscape, massive dunes forming where none had existed before, ancient oases drying up at an alarming rate, and strange anomalies in temperature and humidity levels. As the team delved deeper into the desert, they encountered phenomena beyond their wildest imaginations. Bizarre rock formations sculpted by the wind seemed to defy the laws of physics. Strange, luminous algae thrived in the arid soil, casting an otherworldly glow at night. And most unnerving of all, they stumbled upon the remnants of an ancient civilization buried beneath the sand. But it was what they discovered buried deep beneath the desert's surface that sent shivers down their spines. A vast network of tunnels, hidden for millennia, carved by an unknown civilization. Inside these tunnels lay cryptic symbols and hieroglyphs, hinting at a history long forgotten. As the team pieced together the clues, a chilling realization dawned upon them. The changes in the Sahara were not natural. They were the result of a long-forgotten catastrophe that had befallen the ancient civilization that once thrived there. And now, history might just be repeating itself. What are your thoughts on the scientist's discovery? Let us have your opinions in the comments below. Number 5. Strange Yellow Glass Back in 1932, an extraordinary discovery was made in the vast expanse of the Libyan desert, setting off a captivating enigma that continues to intrigue us even today. This discovery, known as Libyan Desert Glass, is a unique type of yellowish glass that can be found scattered across regions of Libya and Egypt. What makes this glass so special is not just its striking purity and beauty, but also its mysterious origins. For centuries, this remarkable glass has fascinated scientists and historians alike. 
Its allure is such that it was even discovered among the treasures buried in the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, adding an extra layer of mystique to its story. The origins of Libyan desert glass have been a subject of heated debate among researchers. The prevailing theory suggests that around 29 million years ago, a massive meteorite crashed into the earth, triggering the formation of this intriguing glass. Evidence supporting this theory comes from the presence of minerals like A, which is typically formed under the intense pressures generated by a meteorite impact. The story of Libyan desert glass is more than just a scientific curiosity. It's a compelling narrative of cosmic events shaping the course of our planet's history. Number 4. Large Sea Creatures Recent findings shed light on a fascinating past, when the Sahara was home to colossal sea creatures. Imagine encountering a catfish larger than any you've ever seen before. These waters were teeming with such giants, including catfish stretching up to 1.6 meters long, sea snakes reaching lengths of 12.3 meters, and Dante fish measuring 1.2 meters in size. The Sahara's ancient sea, which was as deep as 50 meters and covered an area of 3,000 square kilometers, provided the perfect habitat for these extraordinary creatures to thrive. Scientists speculate that these animals underwent a phenomenon known as gigantism. This occurs when species grow unusually large, and it's a concept that has intrigued evolutionary biologists for years. One theory posits that this gigantism might be linked to the environment. Similar phenomena have been observed on isolated islands, where species often evolve larger bodies due to factors like abundant resources and fewer predators. In the case of the Sahara's aquatic giants, the vast expanse of water may provide ample food and shelter, allowing them to grow to such impressive sizes. This revelation offers a fascinating glimpse into the dynamic interplay between creatures and their environments over time. Number 3. Hidden Chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza Deep within the Great Pyramid of Giza, lies a hidden chamber, proof of the ingenious minds of ancient builders. This monumental structure, admired as one of the wonders of the ancient world, holds within its grandeur a multitude of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Recently, researchers stumbled upon a perplexing discovery, a concealed space nestled within the pyramid's depths, baffling experts and sparking interest. Unlike conventional exploration methods, this hidden chamber, known as the Void, was not revealed through physical excavation. Instead, modern technology, employing muon radiography similar to an X-ray, provided unprecedented insight without compromising the pyramid's structural integrity. Situated above the Grand Gallery, a sloping corridor leading to the King's Chamber, the Void spans a significant expanse, comparable to the size of an aircraft. The revelation of this mysterious chamber has ignited a fervor of curiosity in the archaeological community, prompting speculation about its purpose and significance. Despite extensive study of the Great Pyramid over its approximate 4,500 years of history, this newfound chamber remains shrouded in ambiguity. Scholars speculate on its potential functions, with some suggesting it may have served as a relieving space strategically incorporated to ease the weight exerted on the Grand Gallery. Others ponder its connection to ancient Egyptian burial rituals or religious beliefs. This discovery serves as a reminder of the vast gaps in our understanding of this ancient marvel and the civilization that constructed it. Number 2. Trains in the Desert the forgotten trains resting in the deserts of Saudi Arabia create a captivating and somewhat spooky spectacle. These trains serve as reminders of the once bustling Hejaz Railway, a grand endeavor envisioned by the Ottoman Empire in the late 19th century. The railway's purpose was ambitious, linking Damascus in Syria to Medina in Saudi Arabia, with a primary goal of easing travel for pilgrims heading to the sacred city of Mecca. Construction of the Hejaz Railway commenced in the 20th century, showcasing remarkable engineering prowess for its era. Its creation aimed to solidify Ottoman rule over their distant Arabian territories while enhancing trade routes and military mobility. 
However, the railway's active life was brief, as it became a focal point during World War I, particularly for the Arab Revolt, who viewed it as a symbol of Ottoman dominance. After the war and the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, sections of the railway fell into neglect, eventually being abandoned. The harsh desert environment has weathered these remnants over time, resulting in a hauntingly beautiful yet desolate landscape. Rusty locomotives and decaying infrastructure now stand as silent witnesses to a bygone era, evoking a sense of eerie allure amidst the vast desert expanse. Number 1. Bizarre Tumor In the ancient city of Amarna, a fascinating discovery has emerged from the sands of time. A 3,000-year-old ovarian tumor containing teeth within the remains of a young woman. These peculiar growths are called teratomas in medical lingo, and they're still around today. They're usually found in the ovaries or testicles. They're quite the oddballs of the medical world. Teratoma about the size of a large grape, boasting not one but two toothy depressions. It's a rare find, one of just a few known worldwide. The woman, believed to have been between 18 to 21 years old at the time of her demise, was laid to rest in a commoner's cemetery, suggesting she wasn't of high social status. However, here's where it gets even more intriguing. A ring depicting Bez, the Egyptian god of fertility, was found delicately placed over her abdomen. This hints at its potential use as a talisman perhaps to ease the discomfort caused by the tumor or aid in fertility issues. Amarna, founded by Pharaoh Akhenaten for his radical monotheistic sun worship, was once a bustling metropolis that eventually faded into obscurity after his reign. Today, it's a goldmine for archaeologists offering glimpses into the past like this extraordinary teratoma. Which of these findings caught your attention the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.